Eric Keller here with Enthusiast Auto Group. We are in EAG's paint correction and photo studio today, and we wanted to share with you not one, two, three, but four, and actually might sneak a fifth uh, car in as an EAG first look. An EAG first look is an opportunity to see behind the scenes, check out some cars that are not yet on the market, they're not yet advertised on the website or any other major uh, marketing websites. This is a good opportunity to see the cars in you know, process uh, as they're going through the EAG's reju rejuvenation program and getting all of the final details taken care of to bring these cars to market for a second time in effectively new condition. Uh, these cars are all in process and will be on the market soon. If you have interest in any of them, please drop us a line through the website or pick up the phone and give us a call. And we'd be happy to share all the information that we have on file and keep you up to date as the cars are processed. Uh, you know, bringing these cars to market um, and, and doing the rejuve program as we've done, uh, effectively making them new a second time is really a lot of, it's, it's a really re rewarding experience. It's not going to take a whole lot to bring this 1M into that condition because it has a thousand miles on it. It is an optionless car. This is a 1M in the ultimate driving configuration as the enthusiasts would certainly appreciate. It's had two owners. It is sitting at 1,600 miles. The 1,200 mile break-in service has been completed. There's not a single option on this car. It has this sweet little phone cubby so that we can put your phone where it belongs, no texting and driving, plug it in down to the USB there and uh, put your hands right there and right there and your feet right there and your you know what right there and go. Uh, these 1Ms have had just an absolute cult-like following since the day they came out. They really are just some of the best driving cars BMW has made in recent years. And, you know, the whole, let's build a car that drives like an E30 M3 Sport Evo, uh, the Skunk Works, the, the storyline behind this project, you know, really paved the way for the M2. And... Uh, you know, proof and concept that a twin turbo three liter engine could certainly hit the M platform's objectives as the M3s and M4s today are doing. We have three M5s here that are all in process and going to be photoed here shortly. We've not yet paint corrected the uh, uh, Schwartz Black E28 M5, so it does have that good, nice gray haze to it, but when it's all done and wheeled out, take about a week um, and we'll do a two layers of ceramic coating on top of that to protect that investment and, and original paint finish. It's an all numbers matching car. It's a repeat visitor. Uh, the car was actually previously owned by a, a multi repeat client, a good friend of ours that we were actually hanging out with in uh, California here last week. Jack, thanks again for dinner. That was awesome. Had a great time. We went to Clint Eastwood's uh, Mission Ranch. Uh, that was awesome and appreciate you sharing your time uh, with us and introducing us to Danny Sullivan, Indy, App, Indianapolis 500 winner 1985. That was awesome. Uh, this car has done 62,743 miles. We sold it five years ago to a gentleman in Southern California in the music industry. His father has built a empire building guitar strings, Bernie Ball guitar, guitar strings. And uh, we bought the car back here now five years later and it's going through the re uh, rejuve program, uh, class of 2019. Another uh, 10, 12 grand of investment later, and the car is going to be ready to be enjoyed as, as new, uh, as close to it as a 31-year-old car gets. Two more M5s. We have a Titanium Silver 2002. This car has a really interesting acquisition story. A gentleman reached out to us from Texas. It's a 28,000-mile car. It had pretty similar mileage back then. Gave us a really lengthy, comprehensive description of going over the car. It was very clear that this man loved this car dearly, so much so that we had a deal pretty close to being done. And at the last minute, he said, you know what? I just can't sell it. Okay, no problem. Uh, he reached out a couple months later. Okay, I think I'm there. And went through a big, long email exchange again. It got to the point where I was just sending one or two sentences, and he's sending back emails like two pages long. Uh, oh, I can't do it again. Okay, fine, cool. And uh, long story short, yeah, here, here she is uh, a year later. Um, the car is a Titan trim. It is sport leather interior. 
the sport leather will have the vinyl dash. The tops of the door cards will be vinyl as opposed to the extended leather, which will all be leather in those areas. And then the centers of the seats right here where it's kind of an ostrich pattern, uh, that's the sport. The extended will be the, the rows, the pleats of stitching down the center. Uh, this car has uh, the rear sun blinds or uh, sun shades. It also has folding rear seats. Uh, this car is the standard audio system. I've never really personally been able to tell a difference between the two audio systems, uh, the M audio and the standard audio. A lot of guys will say, well, you know, I really want the M audio. I really want this option. I really want that color. I really want to, you know, build out my car, my M5, my M whatever, the way I would have built it. And when quality is the highest priority, as it very well should be, um, you know, some of those options are probably just not going to be in, you know, in the cards, at least not on your first one. And so, you know, buy for quality, you're going to make a lot better decision and uh, will certainly help uh, you get to that unicorn status when the opportunity presents. Uh, some of you might remember this carbon on Silverstone M5 uh, options uh, have the folding rear seats, the sun shades. Uh, this uh, this full, fully loaded park sensors. Um, it's got everything. Uh, this car was in a video that we shot in this building a couple a month or so, two, a couple six weeks ago maybe, and it had all kinds of markings down the paint showing all the imperfections and the areas of concern. We've been hard at work for quite a long time as you can tell, and the finished result is so much better than it was. It's not quite fully done yet, it's not perfect, uh, it shouldn't be, it's got 50,000 miles and it's original and honest, but uh, it is so much better now having completed the program, uh, or at least most of it. And um, you know, that's what it's all about for us. We really take a lot of pride in changing these cars' path for the you know, future and, and keeping them in great homes, uh, just as we're going to do with, or have done, with this Johnny Chicago uh, E30 M3. It's on its way to Indianapolis. Uh, who, uh, he also bought a Lime Rock from us, but it's not this one. Um, we had a father and uh, two sons uh, fly in from uh, uh, Tulsa. And uh, we did the EAG experience, uh, did a whole lot of fun miles on a Saturday. Uh, grabbed three, four, five cars and just kept uh, going out and driving and changing and talking about all the different uh, characteristics of the cars. They weren't quite sure what models that they had wanted to get into. They had uh, several BMWs, but all the newer stuff, none of the, the more analog vintage stuff. And so uh, they decided to pick up this 25,000 mile DCT Lime Rock. And uh, then we've got a Zinnabarat on uh, Pearl, no, uh, Natcher um, 89 M3, a 52,000 mile repeat visitor that they also purchased that's in the workshop going through the program. And then uh, last but not least, I would say that this is the fifth car for the EAG first look. Shout out Ranger, what's up? Yeah, the uh, 128 M Sport here is, well, it was a new arrival uh, just a couple days ago and, and didn't really even get to, uh, well, all the way through the program yet. And a repeat client from Massachusetts emailed and then we got on the phone, we had a whopping five minute a long phone conversation catching up. Uh, we were actually more talking about the car he had purchased from us and how much he was still enjoying it. Uh, Evan had already filled him in on the details on the 128 via email. And so the fifth EAG first look is the trade-in that's coming in on this uh, black 128. It's a 2019 M2 competition six speed in sunset orange that has a little over 2,000 miles. It's still sitting in his garage in Massachusetts. And so that's a really early EAG first look, but we do have that coming in and it'll be on site probably within a week or two. So subscribe for more information. These first looks are a great opportunity to stay ahead of the curve and see what's coming in, see them you know, before they're ready for market, let alone on market and it will provide a good insight of what goes into the, the Reju program uh, to ensure that you know, we're doing exactly what we say we're doing and, and bringing these to, to market uh, as close to new as possible. Uh, this 1M uh, will be the next one listed on the website. Uh, certainly reach out. The, the window sticker on this thing, he did Euro delivery, the first owner, a, a German uh, gentleman, I believe. And look at that, 43830. I've never seen a 1M window sticker for that little, it's usually 47 and change. Uh, so obviously got a little bit of a, you know, almost 10% discount doing the Euro delivery program. And um, that is just a great way to enjoy, you know, a car that you've been waiting for. I'm sure that he was quite uh, patient and probably had to be on a wait list to, to get this. It's a very late production, 2011. We have four other 1Ms available 
all four of those we also purchased from the original owners um, uh, initially. Uh, white with 15,000 miles, an orange with 12,000 miles, another orange with 10,000 miles, and another orange with 6,000 miles. And then also have a black 1M uh, with a client in Canada that's reached out to us to help him find a great home for that 5,000 mile example. So appreciate everybody tuning in. Subscribe for more uh, EAG first looks and looks behind the scenes. Uh, glad to be back from our fun week in Pebble Beach. A lot more cool content from that coming in too. We did some cool interviews. Uh, had a fun time with Satch and um, uh, Delia Wolf. Uh, a lot of cool stuff in the pipeline. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for tuning in. See you.